do you guys remember the classic Castlevania games? Because Konami fucking doesn't. What is this? This isn't the Castlevania I know and love. Seeing that Konami has somewhat abandoned Castlevania and trying to turn it into God of War, it's times like this that we want to look back at some of the older, better Castlevania games. Before this ever happened. Handheld systems have had some amazing Castlevania games on them, ranging from GBA classics such as Araya of Sorrow and Circle of the Moon, to more recent ones such as Order of Ecclesia and Portrait of Ruin. Heck, even the PS1 classic Symphony of the Night was ported to the PSP, with voice acting which isn't laughably bad anymore. Ha! Mankind! A cesspit of hatred and lies! Fight for them, then, and die for their sins! I imagine these games are what most people think of when the words handheld Castlevania are ever mentioned. But hell, this video isn't here to talk about those ones. We are here to talk about games released on this brick right here. The original Game Boy had three Castlevania games released on it. Castlevania The Adventure, Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, which isn't to be confused with Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, I mean, how could you even get those two mixed up, I mean, really? And Castlevania Legends. I will be making three different videos talking about these games, so let's get started with the first one, The Adventure. Castlevania in the palm of your hand. That must have been an awesome thought back in the year 1989, which means this game is the oldest game I've ever reviewed! Ha 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 it's seven years older than me. Which means this game will play like Castlevania 1. Get that shit in there right now, I want to play the crap out of this! Hot damn, that music is catchy as hell. Nice to see one element of the original Castlevania's managed to make its leap firmly into the Game Boy. The music! Konami have managed to squeeze a hell of a lot out of the Game Boy's limited musical ability, and it's so good. Unfortunately, as you will soon see, other elements from the original games didn't quite leap over to the handheld as they did drunkenly stumble over before passing out halfway across and lying in a pool of its own sick. Alright, maybe that's a bit harsh, but are you seeing this? Fact me, I thought Mortal Kombat Mythology's walking speed was slow, but this... This is something else. So in this game you play a sloth Belmont over here, who might I add look suspiciously like the enemies in this game, on a quest to defeat Dracula, I think. I see no hint of a castle anywhere, and my game didn't come with the box, so I could be on a quest to pick flowers for I know, or more likely defeat this chap who appears on the game's cart. Andros, maybe? So far, it looks like your typical Castlevania game. You whip candles, and you whip other things, only now it's a lot slower, and also in black and white. The level design isn't quite on par with the original Castlevania, though. Enemies appear just to be placed to slow you down more than provide any form of actual challenge, and the layout doesn't really make much sense. I'm in a forest here! Now I've gone up this rope! Ah, oh, there's more forest above it! Yeah! The screens here really just involve moving from one side to the other, with no real barriers interrupting your passage but a few enemies. Boring is a very apt word for this situation. The game is nowhere near as well designed as the original to make it as interesting to play. While in the original enemies were placed in order to make you think about how to tackle them and thus making it more satisfying to kill them, here the enemies are just asking to be killed, putting up no real fight, challenge or entertainment value. You fight an array of enemies though. Tree fellows, turd walkers birds, and eyes for some reason. None of which put up real any challenge, as all of them die in one hit. Unless you haven't got a whip upgrade, which is very likely because in this game, guess what? Every time you're hit, you lose a whip upgrade. What. The. Hell. Let alone what ludicrous logic drives this idea, but it's just freaking annoying, being weakened because an enemy has a bullshit attack which is impossible to avoid. I could point out how the best whip upgrade is cool because it adds a little flame ball at the end of it, but nah, I'm not gonna do that because you'll barely get to have it. But at least there are sub-weapons, right? Right? Nope. Not even sub-weapons. The level design has also taken a massive hit in the crotch too. I've already mentioned how many times it can be boring, and yes, I understand the level design is somewhat limited by the Game Boy's hardware, but that isn't an excuse for the level design to be god-awful sometimes. Many scenarios that jumped out to me were the area that's completely pointless because you're invincible for all of it, the you need to be absolutely pixel perfect on all of these jumps or you'll never make it area, I did it! Oh no, not again! The 
area with the stupidly fast testicles being launched at you, which you have no chance of avoiding, the whole freaking second level, and especially the part with the eyeballs, which explode when you hit them, which destroys the bridge, meaning it is possible to make it impossible for you to continue. Fun fun fun! The Castlevania Adventure's vision with this game is to make it more platform oriented than other Castlevania games and, while I'm sure this can be done correctly, it can't be done with a game that handles like this and with level designs this horrendous. Sometimes button presses don't register so you'll get hit and as soon as anything enters the screen the game slows down like my laptop trying to play any game made past 2004. Graphics? Look at them. They're boring. They're not bad or anything, everything is clear as to what it's supposed to be, but it's just so bland. The character sprite has no detail in him and his back leg looks really messed up. The enemies also have little detail placed into them too, meaning they look uninspired and underdesigned. Bland can be applied to pretty much all aspects of this game, apart from the music, that's amazing. The backgrounds also have little life in them, making your adventures in this game look all that less interesting. One final thing to point out are the levels. All four of them. Yes, four. This is where I'd normally talk about how that's a crappy amount of levels for a game to have, but I've never actually finished this game. There is one very good reason for this though. Level 3 is horribly designed, relying more on memorization than actual skill, and seeing how you have a limited number of lives and continues, and I have a limited amount of patience for this game, I've never gotten past it. I think by now you've pretty much gotten the idea of this game. Sure, there's more I could bring up, like the occasional graphic glitches and how the level 2 boss is just moles. Yes, really. I think I've spoken enough of this game. What it really is, is a waste of potential. It could have been great, and it is very nearly good. It is so close. The music is godlike, yet the gameplay speed and the level design really stops it from achieving the greatness it could have, and really should have. I can only really recommend it for the music and maybe curiosity's sake, and seeing how cheap the game goes for it really couldn't hurt, but emulation exists now and you can just look up the soundtrack on YouTube, so... Uh... But we mustn't forget that this was only Konami's first attempt at a handheld Castlevania game. Maybe they do better the second time. Nice to see one element of the original Castlevania's managed to manages to leap. <sighs> nice to see one element of the. Nice to see one element of the original Castlevania's managed to make its leap firm. Nice to see one element from the Castlevania's. Nice to see one element. <sighs> For God's sake. Nice to see one element of the original Castlevania's. Nice to see one element of the original Castlevania's managed to make its leap firmly. Oh my God! Why can't I say this sentence? Nice to see one element of the original Castlevania's. Castlevania's managers managed to make its leap firmly into the Game Boy. The music! Konami have managed to squeeze a hell of a lot of- 